What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Spider Ninja Gaming. On this episode of Minecraft Dungeons, we're going to be going through some uh, melee demonstrations. We're going to do some comparatives here. So, for starters, I've got the whirlwind here, and what we're looking at is slow and strong versus fast and weak. So, um, what we're really looking at is kind of like a uh, medium level here. So this whirlwind, this is going to be great for tackling an area around you, which has its great benefit. Uh, next one we're comparing is going to be the longest reach out of anything we've got, and that's Gravebane here. And what I want you to notice also is I've I've got some weapons that have some similar uh, characteristics for the enchantments. Got critical hit on all of them. This is going to be the last one we do as the fighter's bindings here. Um, I've got Swirling and Shockwave on this. I have Swirling on this one. Um, it doesn't get Shockwave because it's already got that long reach. Um, this one has Swirling and Shockwave as well. So we're going to cruise through here and we are on the Moo level. The three questions unlocked when you get all the runes. And I'm just going to run through and just kind of, you know, just smash on some uh, smash on some cows and see how it goes. And we're just trying to pay attention to, like, what really, really wrecks these cows. Like, what does what does the best job? I will say this one has a unique advantage, based off of you can just run into a crowd and just open up and not really think about much, because you're hitting all of the areas around you. And that's absolutely going to be helpful. Um, I'm, I'm going to switch weapons here in just a moment. Um, my sound is ridiculously loud there for a second, so quick adjustment. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Get the, uh, get the potion, because that's part of the enchantments that I have with us. So this one does high damage. It does really high damage. You get into a crowd, you just blast them right away. So, nothing, nothing much to think about. Absolutely wrecks them. Um, absolutely fa fabulous weapon. So, we're going to switch it up now and go over to... Hey, where'd it go? Okay, there we go. We're going to go to Gravebane here. So, again, we're looking at um, extensive reach. Very slow weapon. Not not quite fair because it doesn't have the because uh, uh, it doesn't have the shockwave on it. But the thing I want you to notice is so I've got I've got gravity on this, so it does kind of help out to suck them all in together. Um, a little bit of an advantage that it has on this particular model. Um, but the thing to take note of is its damage overall. It's it's moderate. Um, it's definitely slow. It's way too slow if you aren't using a mushroom. And ultimately, I mean, me personally, it is not my favorite. Um, it doesn't do well at covering the back of you, as that cow's kicking me right now, you can see. Um, and the reason being is because it takes way too long to finish out its combo. So that's going to be a really key element here to focus on, is when you're picking a weapon that's really going to work for you, um, keep, in mind the, uh, keep in mind the combo, like for whatever enchantment that you have, it's at the end of the combo that those things kick in. And for that reason, I'm not a huge fan of Grave Bane. So we're at the 1, 2, 3 before it does anything. We're swinging back to this one real quick. That's one, two, and it kicks out. It's special. So, very cool, very cool. Um, now, going over to our final uh, final comparative here. I'm going to switch up. going to go to the Fighter's Bindings here. I'm just going to get rid of that TNT. And I'm just going to go into the crowd and just be turning, turn around, twist in every direction. You see how fast that shockwave's shooting now? I mean, that is just nuts. So, here's the really cool thing about that. <laughs> so you might not have any distance with these fighters' bindings, but if you get the shockwave enchantment on it, this is just regular speed now. Like, we've lost our mushroom effect. This is regular speed. 
and I'm just absolutely laying it in to all these creatures. And some, something else I want to illustrate is, actually I will illustrate that in just a moment. I'm going to just run past all these guys, um, somewhat, and that's a few too many to get around. As you can see, I can tank them pretty darn effectively, just going in a circle. Even when my mushroom runs out, I don't need to worry about it. Those cows got completely owned. Um, I'm gonna run, 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 run as fast as I can to get us over to the boss guy. Hey, get out of my way, guys. Just got wrecked a little bit there for a second. We'll get that back in just a moment here. Got a couple of good speed boosts to help my guy go faster. Get out of my way, cows. Now what we're what we're really uh the thing to pay particular attention to here is when you're getting over to boss territory. Uh this combination that I got going. I mean you can just see that right there. This guy's absolutely getting wrecked. I'll back off for a half second. And I'll finish him off before he even gets to attack me. And for that reason, for that reason my personal pick is the fighter bind fighters bindings um, thing to keep in mind though is when you're going through something like this trying to pick your weapon out um, the uh, uh, the axe any any double axe that's going to be you know having the swirling around you uh, that can be hugely beneficial because um, it, it does cover more area with the spin attack so if you're maybe maybe not a really dialed Minecraft player that might actually be of benefit to you if you don't have something that heals you when you're taking damage. Um, I'll show you real quick here my setup. My setup here I always have something with Anima Conduit um, or something similar to be able to heal up. So at that point in time you don't actually really have to worry when you when you don't have um, when you don't have the distance to keep things from hitting you because you're going to be smashing things so fast with fighters bindings that there's nothing to really think about you just go in there pound them out and you're going to get your health back right away um, this one also has melee the uh, renegade armor has melee attack speed and then some damage reduction along with the weapon damage boost aura so that increases the damage a little bit more too so um, my personal pick I'm going with fighters bindings um, I know there's some people who would argue that uh, Whirlwind might work better for you. Cast those shockwaves out. That's pretty sweet also. Uh, Gravebane, big thumbs down in my book. I don't think it's worth a hill of beans. <laughs> it's not, not worth anything, guys. Anyway, uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if there's anything else you want me to review, uh, any tips and tricks you want me to share, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, tell me what you think about this video. And I'll provide more for you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't. And please do give a video, give the video a like. And I'll catch you again soon on Spider Ninja Gaming. Thanks for watching, everybody.